Hello and welcome to 5 Minutes About Pulsar. My name is Nadir Jan Mohamed. I'm on the streaming team at Datastax. Today I'm going to show you how to get started with Pulsar using Astra Streaming. If you want to follow along, visit astra.datastax.com forward slash register streaming and get a free Pulsar instance up and running in under a minute. If you have any questions or feedback, you can leave a comment below or email us at pulsarquestions at datastax.com. That will go to the Pulsar team here at Datastax. We have lots of Pulsar experts that would be happy to help answer any questions you may have or help you with any Pulsar problems you may be experiencing. We hope to hear from you. What I'm going to show you is how to create a Pulsar tenant in NASA streaming and then go over some basics like create a Pulsar topic, publishing and subscribing to a topic, and where to find Pulsar client code samples. Once you have created your account in Astra and are logged in, you can create a new Pulsar tenant by clicking on the Create Stream button, which is located right over here. From here, you can type in the name of your Pulsar tenant. And then you can choose a cloud provider slash region you want to create that tenant in. And then once you've um, made that selection, you can go ahead and click the Create button. Now that we have a new Pulsar tenant, let's try sending and receiving some messages. First off, we need to create a Pulsar topic. In order to do so, you can go ahead and click on the Topic tab up here. From here, we can create the topic by clicking on the Add Topic button right here. Here is the topic we just created. In Pulsar, a topic is a named channel used to publish messages to and also to subscribe messages from. Let's head over to the Try Me tab to actually send and receive some messages. The Try Me feature is a Pulsar WebSocket text client that can produce and consume simple messages. To use it, select the namespace, uh, the producer topic, and the consumer topic. In this case, we only have one topic, so it's been pre-selected. I'm going to click the Connect button right here to establish a connection between my browser and my Pulsar instance. Now I'm going to send a message to my topic. What just happened here is that the WebSocket client published a message to the topic using Pulsar's producer API. Then Pulsar sent the message to the consumer. The WebSocket client was also connected as a consumer of this topic, so it received the message, uh, as you can see here. In messaging systems, this is known as publishing and subscribing, or PubSub for short. If you want to start writing some Pulsar clients, head over to the Connect tab here um, to see some code samples. Pulsar has client libraries in various languages. For convenience, the UI provides some code samples to get you started. I'm going to select Python as an example. What you see here is a simple Pulsar producer written in Python. For, for convenience, the connection information to your Pulsar instance and your topic is populated in the code sample. Similarly, um, here is a consumer. When you're ready to start coding, you can simply just copy this text, paste it into your favorite IDE, um, and, and run this code as is. You will need a Pulsar token for this client to actually connect to your Pulsar instance. Um, I will show you how to create one right now. Now, if you click back on the um, connect option here, you'll notice that at the bottom here, there is a link to the token manager. Uh, there's another way to get here via settings as well, but we'll navigate this way. So I'll go ahead and click the token manager. Now that I've done that, I can click on this create token button um, and I can create a token for the length uh, that will expire uh, for the length of my choice. I'll pick a, a short lived one here. Um, now you'll see that the token is actually displayed. You can copy this token and then use that token to actually paste it in the code that we looked at earlier. So let's go back to that Python example. And then you would simply paste this token right here um, um, in your IDE, of course. 
Hopefully you found this video useful. If you did, please click the like button. That will help people find this video and get started with Pulsar. Thanks for watching and have a great day.